Thomas Alpha Edison, the man who invented the electric bulb. Story 1. One day I was poor, the next day I was rich. I brought light to cities and invented lots of new things. How did I do it? I worked hard, but I also had good luck. I met the right people at the right time. I was born in the United States. I went to school for three months because my teacher thought that I caused trouble in the classroom. In fact, I spoke in a loud voice because I couldn't hear very well. When I left school, I was only seven years old. My mother became my teacher at home. My parents had seven children and I was the youngest. We didn't have much money, so when I was 12 years old, all my brothers and sisters worked. I decided to work too. I got a job on the railways and I sold food and drink trains. One day, I was at Mount Clemens station when I saw a little boy on the railway. There was a coming boy and I ran to save him. The boy was the station master's three-year-old son. He wanted to thank me for saving his son and taught me how to use the telegraph. I could get a better job now. From 1863 to 1867, I worked as a telegraph operator. I like machines and sometimes experiments. When I was 19, I had a job at the Western Union Company in Louisville. One day, I was trying an experiment when I spilled in the office and lost my job. I moved to Boston and invented a machine to record boards. No one was interested in it. So when I was 22 years old, I decided to go to New York to make a new start. I knew one person in New York, so I went to see him. I haven't got a job and I need some money. Could I borrow some money from you? I asked. He was surprised. I can only lend you a dollar, he said. I took the dollar and promised to give it back. This dollar changed my life. I was hungry and weak, so I used the dollar to buy a meal. I felt much stronger after my meal and I went out to look for a job. I talked to a few people. One of them was Franklin Pope. He worked for the Gold Indicator Company and he showed me the company's building. I stayed in the battery room that night. The next day, I studied the company's machines. The third day was my lucky day. There was a machine that sent important information to the gold exchange. Suddenly, it stopped working. Dr. Samuel Laws from the Gold Exchange heard of my work. He offered to pay me dollars a month to repair their machines. I was able to pay the dollar ABC. Soon the president of the Gold and Stock Telegraph Company also heard of my work. Can you repair the machines in our company? He asked me, $3,000 or $5,000 a year was good pay for the job, but he offered me 
$40,000. I was lucky once again. This was the start of my career as a businessman and inventor. I moved to New Jersey and I opened several telegraph companies with Franklin Pope. In 1870, Mary Stilwell got a job in one of my companies. We got married the next year. I was happy to have a family, but I didn't have much time to be at home. I had a lot of ideas for new inventions. In 1876, I built a research laboratory at Menlo Park formed a team and invented the phonograph, a machine to play music and many other things. My most important invention came next. Every day when the sun set, everything was dark. We had electricity but we had no electric light. After a lot of experiments and hours of hard work at the laboratory, we invented the electric light bulb, the round glass object that produces light. In 1882, I helped to put 400 lights in the streets of Manhattan. Newark got a new name, the city that never sleeps. I brought light to homes, hospitals, offices, factories, and schools. It was the beginning of the 24-7 lifestyle, 24 four hours of light, 7 days a week. Then a sad day arrived in my life. In 1884, my wife became ill and died, but two years later, I got married to Mina Miller and had three children. At work, it was a time of success. I started more companies and invented more things. I got one patent. There were 1093 in total. Then hard times came again. In 1913, a big fire destroyed 13 of our buildings. The next year, the first world war started in Europe. The government asked me to work on invention to find guns and submarines. I couldn't work on my invention anymore. During my life, I started a lot of companies and invented many things. One day, I was asked, how did you do it? My answer was, 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Hard work was the key.